back to my channel. Today we obviously, if you can't tell by the title, have a Forever 21 haul. Not sure what my hair is doing today. Not sure, not sure. I feel like I have caterpillars on my eyes and my eyes will not stop crying about it. Um, anyway, yes, we have a Forever 21 Plus haul and I'm pretty excited. I got all this stuff online. This video is actually in partnership with Forever 21 so they did sponsor it. And um, I picked out a bunch of stuff, they sent it to me and here we are now. So they do have a ton of denim a ton of tops, a ton of sweatshirts, graphic tops. Um, I got shoes and stuff too. They have a bunch of stuff online. So if you're on the plus size side especially, I would say shop online for Forever 21 because, I mean, go in store if they got it in store. I don't think mine has plus size in store anymore. <laughs> sad um but <laughs> online they always have way better selection anyway like they have a ton a ton of stuff online and i will do my best to link everything for you guys down below the only tricky part about shopping online is that i find that the sizing kind of differs here and there so that's why i picked so much stuff out so that i can actually show you guys and give you my feedback on the sizing and stuff to help you out if you um are planning on purchasing anything so follow me on instagram snapchat twitter whatever all that stuff all the info is here and don't forget to subscribe like 70% of you or something are not subscribed according to my YouTube manager, <laughs> so feel free to do that. So first off, we have this super cute sweatshirt. It's a cropped sweatshirt, so it's obviously like, you know, loose fitting and stuff. And the kicker on this one is so cute. Look, it has the little freaking Grinches everywhere. How cute is that? I'll rock a Grinch all through the winter. It doesn't need to be Christmas time for me. Thank you. I got the top in the 2X and it is, I think it was like $24.90, but you know, Forever 21 always has sales and stuff, so I like to sign up for the emails because then like whenever it's like, oh, sweaters are on sale, sweatshirts are on sale, jeans are on sale, 30% off, da, 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 that kind of stuff, like that's when, usually when I shop. I find the denim to be the trickiest, so I'm gonna do my best to describe this stuff well for you, but I got these in a size 18. Forever 21 is a junior plus brand. Um, so their sizes tend to run a little bit smaller than like your traditional plus size stores. So I got this in an 18. They fit me pretty perfectly. They are, uh, they're uh, just above a mid rise, I would say. They're not, you know what? They're kind of, they're high rise. Mm, I don't know. They're like high rise is super, super, super close cousin. The middle high rise. Like they're almost there. They're not ridiculously stretchy. So they're comfortable to wear. Um, and actually, I think my butt always looks better when the jeans are not super stretchy. I don't know. This is just a sticker. This comes off. But uh, the length is perfect for me personally. I'm five foot four. Goes right down to the ankle. I'm gonna do my best to link absolutely everything down in the description box, and I'll try to do it in order so that it doesn't get confusing with the jeans. <laughs> we'll see how I do though. I'm back. This outfit makes me feel like the cool mom. Like. <laughs> But like mom first, cool second, okay? I don't I don't know exactly how to describe this. Let me just show you the whole thing. So these jeans, again, I got these ones in an 18. Like I said, they have a lot of different denim and um, the fits and the cuts and everything are gonna vary. So these ones are, honestly, they feel a little bit stretchier than the previous ones, um, but they are also like a little bit looser. I definitely have a little bit more room in my um, stomach, a little bit more room here in the front, and then a little bit more room also like in the cheek area. Like my butt is not fully filling these cheeks. I probably wear these ones with the belt because they run just slightly larger, I would say, than the previous pair. They're also a little bit longer. They very much have like a mom jean kind of feel where they are just a little bit looser overall, but I do like that they still have the tapered leg. All right, I wanted to give you a slightly better view of the bottoms here. So it is obviously very uh, distressed and then it has these super cute little like pearls attached to it all over the place. They're like actually string pearls. So these ones are, um, they actually stretch a bit like to fit your leg and whatnot. And then, I mean, I didn't shave that far up, so don't look too hard things. But they're really cute. I think they're like feminine and pretty. And even though the jeans fit me like a little bit loose, I would definitely not size down. If you're on the cusp, like right in between a size, maybe go down to your smaller size, but otherwise I would stick with where you're normally at. Um, and then the top, so cute. Oh, the jeans, I think I told you, I got them in 18 and they were 44.90. And then um, the top I think was like 15 something, like 15 bucks. Yeah, it was $15.90 and I got it in a size 2X. It is cropped again and it has like this little, uh, Elastic here at the bottom, it's got elastic on the wrist. Really cute, really flowy, just this cute little baby pink. I think just together like pearls and pink, it's just, oh, it's a whole mood, I love it, I love it. Next up, this top, I got it in a 1X, I think it was like 12, 
90 and it says stay humble I mean stay humble but don't let people disrespect you you know what I'm saying that's my motto. <laughs> um, I probably got it a 1X because they probably didn't have a 2X, but it's just like a loose, like, cropped kind of t-shirt. Um, it is pretty long, actually, for a... Is it cropped? I think... No, it's cropped. Because usually when it's not cropped, it goes down right below my belly. So this is, like, definitely got a little crop to it. You know me. I like to just shove it in my pocket. That's kind of how I define the waist again. And then the pants. Eek! much when I'm shopping for pants. And it says anything about your butt, butt lifting, butt smoothing, butt shaping, butt whatever, I don't care. I pretty much always gravitate towards them. So this says love your butt, perfect curvy fit, great stretch, butt lifting. Got these in an 18. They are skinny. These are basically like my classic kind of jean. Um, they have really great stretch. They're super duper comfortable. Definitely a high rise. Um, I have just a little bit of room. Uh, you can't even tell actually. Um, I can just feel it. I have a little bit of room above my butt, but I love when they do this thing. You know what I'm talking about? Where's it at? This thing. Like, it really does just make your butt look a little bit juicier than normal, for me at least. Um, uh, and they're super comfortable. So, these are some of my favorites. I've gotten some others. I think I have, like, the lighter shades and stuff um, from years past. Hold on, because Sarah's growing up. And um, she's wearing hats these days. Are you ready? So this hat was $14.90 and it's like a cabbie hat. And um, <clears throat> prepare yourself. Because mama's wearing hats. Probably not with this outfit. But oh hi. <laughs> hi it's me. SV. What I do. <laughs> Get in the back. Where to? I've been learning these hats lately. Like they're just they're just fun they're just so cute and fun and I feel like they spice up an outfit and I felt kind of dumb when I first wore them but you know what that's okay stupid people can be cute too this is like what this is a whole new attitude for me I love it I love I love it I love it oh and it fits my big old head because it's actually um stretchy see that yeah baby while we're here being extra I also picked up these cute little booties I don't really have any that are just like like this low and this kind of casual. So they feel like a suede or probably like a faux suede. And they were $29.90. I got them in a size nine, which is my size. And they look pretty narrow. Um, I don't have a super wide foot, but sometimes I do buy like a, a wide feet kind of stuff. But um, these ones actually, I didn't need it. And the sides are actually stretchy, if you can see that. So there you go. I just folded the pants up a little bit, but um, like I said, even though they look really narrow, they fit really comfortably. Uh, these are actually probably the ones that I find to be most comfortable, but as you'll see, the others have some heels on them, so that kind of makes sense. But the uh, stretch on the side really seriously makes all the difference. I also got this top, and this is in a 2X, and it was, I think, $29. I just looked at the tag. Um, it's a thicker material. I forget what you call this. I know it has a name. The kind that it looks like almost like, um, damn it, what is it called? Where it looks like it's got fuzz on it almost. Like, they make a lot of blankets and stuff like this. When I was in kindergarten, I had a blanket made out of the same material. I don't know why I remember it, but I used to just cuddle up with it and pull out my teeth. That was my pastime. Um, the arms are a little snug for me. They're not, like, super uncomfortable. But uh, considering how loose the rest of it is on me, like... <laughs> It is warm. Like, if you're going somewhere and you're going to be outside or something, you're trying to be cute. Sometimes I try to dress with just a sweater and a scarf and, like, a hat because I don't want to ruin my whole outfit with a jacket. This is the kind of sweater I would need to wear in that case because it's a warm fit for sure. Uh, it is also a little bit cropped. This is probably the longest of all the crops that I've tried on today. Do you think they purposely made this top, like, the same color as Winnie the Pooh? Was that just, like coincidence it wasn't coincidence was it so I got this honey top and it got a little Pooh Bear vibes to it uh it just says honey in red long sleeve it is again it's like a cropped kind of length oh this is definitely you know what I wouldn't even call this cropped actually this is pretty far down this it's, it's reaching crotch territory down here so this is basically a full length shirt I would probably still kind of bunch it and pull it back or tie it or do the whole like shove it in my pocket thing oh, speaking of yes I have pockets hold on oh I got this in a 2x and I think it was like 15 20 something something like that Let's discuss this denim. So this is actually Levi's. Um, these are Levi's denim, and this is the 711 Skinny, and I got them in an 18W. Okay. Oh, I'm excited about that GWB movie. Like, 
Oh, Christian Bale looks like he's gonna kill it. Uh, Forever 21, like I said, they have a very big denim selection and they do sell Levi's. So these are distressed in the front. I like Levi's. I have struggled to find a pair that actually fit me pretty well um like throughout the day sometimes i find them to be uncomfortable but these ones actually fall in a really good like spot for me so they are definitely a higher rise for sure but they they just i don't know they fit me better. the last pair i got was like more of a mid-rise and they were just not for me so the waist is pretty fitted to me and then the rest of it has a really 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 good stretch and they do come down pretty thin I would probably fold these to wear them with boots. I wouldn't fold them quite like that. I'd do the skinnier kind of fold if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I mean, besides that, these are really good looking jeans. Hi, little booty. Okay, honey, hi. I didn't think I was gonna really love this top. I mean, I picked it out and everything, but I don't know. I wasn't sure I was gonna love the fit of it, but it's super comfortable and I think it's so cute because it like kind of comes off the shoulder, but it's also still kind of on. I have like a regular bra. This is my try on haul bra. If you guys have seen it 9,000 times at this point. Um, it's just, it's so good. <laughs> but I love it. I love the, the elastic on the arms. I love how like baggy it is. And the part that actually has a seam is not tight or anything on my arms. And I got this in a 2X. I think it was like 17 or so dollars. Um, and like I said, Forever 21 always has sales. It is a bit of a cropped fit. It kind of rolls a little bit at the bottom. It's super comfortable though. Like super comfortable. Hi. Sometimes I try on the clothes before I actually come on camera, but this time, uh, this is actually my first time putting the jeans on. Um, all of the jeans. So these are definitely the new favorite. Like these feel so good. And um, I love a triple button. I love a triple button. You have no idea. I love a triple button. I uh, just love it so much. Um, they have a lot of stretch in them. They're a pretty good length. They have the distressing at the bottom. Poked my toe right through it. Gotta love distressed jeans. Um, and then distressing at the knees here. And um, the fit is so good though. Like they look like there's some little booty plumpers too. You know what I'm saying? Like right? Doesn't my butt, I feel like my butt looks like how I did in the, the Isle of My Butt jeans or whatever the other ones were called. These ones have a lot of stretch. They're super duper comfortable. Like I said, they fall at a really nice place. They're definitely a high rise. They fit really well in terms of like the feel. Um, like I feel comfortable in them. These ones are in a size 16 and they were 29. 90 so these ones do have a lot more stretch and give like I said So that's probably why I could do the 16 without any like problem. I actually like this whole outfit I kind of like the balance of like the loose arms the like high tighter, you know waist and then oh I like it. It's cute and before we take off these wonderful jeans Let's do another sweater. This one is again in a 2x and it's 27 90 I believe this one's um, I think on the higher end of the other ones that I've been showing you as far as the sweatshirts and stuff go, uh, but this one has like a thicker, kind of a more, I don't know, this one's got a bit more of like a luxurious feel to it. The previous like pinkish looking sweater that, no, it was definitely pink, no need for quotes. The previous one was definitely a lot thinner, like you could see my bra and stuff. You can't see it, can you? You can see my boobs, but you can't really see my bra. Um, this one has a thicker feel, like I said. It has the elastic at the uh, wrist again, and it has like the cowl neck kind of thing going on here, and it is a little bit longer. So it is, I mean, it's not really cropped, because if you wore it like this, it would be full length, but the bottom has elastic on it. So me personally, I would wear it above my butt because it's just like the most comfortable place for anything cropped to land or anything really with elastic because trying to keep it around my butt, it just means I'm gonna be fussing with it all day. So I would bring it up above my butt and then this is basically just letting it hang. The elastic is not super tight or anything, so it is a really comfortable fit. And then it just kind of drapes in the front. This is, this is really cute. This is a comfortable little Hi. I don't know what it is about cowl necks, but they make me feel like I pay my taxes on time, like I do all the things that I need to do, and I do them right. Actually, before I take this outfit off, I want to show you these shoes too. So these are, they say they're in gray. Are they gray? I mean, they, they're more of like a taupey kind of color, um, and they were $34.90. They're a little bit higher in terms of the heel itself, and then the boot, the booty basically, it goes up a little bit higher as well and it has a zipper on the inside. Again, these ones have more of like a narrow kind of fit to them, and they fit me pretty well, but I, if I recall, these ones do not uh, zip all the way up my ankle, so I'm gonna show them to you zipped to about here, which is about halfway, and it's really not a problem because they are comfortable, like I said, and the zipper doesn't actually fall down once it's up. It's a pretty, like, stiff zipper. Um, so, I mean, I've worn booties before. They don't zip all the way up, and frankly, some of the ones that I do have, 
I mean, they fit perfect or whatever, but they feel better when I don't zip them all the way up, especially when the zipper's in the back. Just lets my ankle breathe and my ankle appreciates it. And I appreciate it for not hurting, you know what I mean? It's like circle of life over here. They're so cute though. They're really cute considering, you know, they're pretty expensive too. I'm into it. I try so hard to be that person that actually like gets dressed up and wears booties and da 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 just like to like run out and grab coffee creamer which is the only thing that I leave the house for these days but I just can't oh, it's so hard to be that person it's so hard to be that person when you have like really comfortable footwear and sweats and giant jackets and stuff like oh it's so hard to dress up I wore tops similar to this recently and a bunch of people were like oh it's a bodysuit you tricked us sorry so this one not a bodysuit this is an actual top and I love the little color combo. It is really like on the thinner side. Um, so definitely probably wear an undershirt or something nude underneath it. But it's overall, it's pretty comfortable, pretty simple little, you know, simple little jam here. It is in a size 2X and I think it was like 15 to $17. So just thought I would pop this one in here for you guys because a bunch of you really wanted the other top. But like I said, it was a bodysuit and I understand there's a time and a place for a bodysuit. <laughs> And it's like no place and no time usually. And now that I'm done bashing bodysuits, here's a bodysuit. I can't quit Forever 21's bodysuits. I really like them. Um, I feel like if you have a longer torso, you might want to size up. This one I got in a 2X, but again, I'm not like super tall or anything. Fits beautifully, fits perfectly. I can bend over, I can bend backwards, I can do, you know, well I can't do like backflips and stuff, but if I could, I could do it in this bodysuit and it wouldn't pop open or anything. Um, it's a really good fit, it's a really nice color. I love this color, this whole family of colors. Kind of my jam, if you're new here, this is me. The pants is really like, what's what here. They feel like a cross between a jegging and like a panty pant. Um, They're not denim. So they do have these buttons here and they are all functional. So like little silver buttons. And um, the pockets are just for funsies, pretend. And there's none on the back. Really comfortable, really stretchy. Like, I mean, you could do your yoga and everything else. You hear my like knees pop. <laughs> you could do whatever in these. Um, I just thought I would show them to you guys. So these are good like work pants if you needed them. And I got them in a 2X and they were $24.90. And kind of in line with a work appropriate pants, a work appropriate shirt. Obviously you would want to put like a cami on underneath it. It does have a low uh, cut in the front, but it has like these nice little flowy sleeves and it has just stripes on it. So it's like blue and kind of peachy and then like a taupey kind of color and then um, black stripes. And this you can tie, I imagine, in the back, in the front, whatever floats your boat. It is, um, it's not really stretchy, the actual material, but the the waistline has some stretch to it so there's a little bit of give there and then other than that it's pretty much just goes all the way up in the back and like i said you can probably tie it in the front you can tie it in the back kind of whatever floats your boat my friend and like i said uh, if you're wearing it to work i don't know where you work but probably <laughs> throw a cami on underneath it just to kind of you know take away that look any area that's this pale i know i shouldn't be showing well not at work at least. Well, I guess I'm at work. I don't know. It's me, I'm back again. I look like Mario or maybe Luigi or maybe Princess Peach dressed as Mario and Luigi. I don't know. I mean, as far as this hat's like fit goes, it, it does actually fit my bulbous head pretty well. You could go like the mushroom route with it and kind of put it up. I kind of look like a chef now or you could kind of, you know, slouch it down or whatever live your life. I'm gonna take it off because there's a lot of foundation in there now. When I saw this on the website, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go just because it's like a little drapey and over the top and kind of like loose, I mean. So I wasn't sure how the fit was gonna be, but it's amazing. The bottom is more snug and then it gives you like all the extra material on top. So you can kind of decide how you wanna wear it. You can pull it up more. Um, you can pull it down so that you can see kind of like the fitted part of a sweater. You can super like drape it off your arm, you know, and kind of do the one shoulder thing or you can pull it up a little bit more and have it just kind of be evenly cut across there super big and oversized but it does have some grip here on the actual like uh, forearm so that you're not just just I don't know being swallowed by it basically so same in the back pretty much and I did pick out this sweater with this skirt and that hat in mind uh, let's try the hat again hats are so weird like how many of you are just hat people well, you were just born with that jean? Is that something you have to like buy? I don't, I, I don't, 
I don't know. Um, now this skirt, mm, she was gonna be trouble. So this actually has like a zipper on the side. It goes up pretty high. There's basically no stretch in it whatsoever. Um, so you can, you can like see my body kind of cut out in here. Um, I would probably wear some kind of like Spanx, like the shorts kind, so that my, um, so that this line here isn't created from my panties, which is what's doing that at the moment. Um, but it's, a, I mean, it's a pretty good fit. Like, it just, it looks nice. Doesn't this look like a cute little outfit? I would wear it with like some higher boots probably. Maybe like some taupey coat. Wow, how many times have I said taupe today? Maybe some like light brown boots, like some uh, camel colored ones because that's what the other color is in here. And it also has black, which is nice. So you can take this like the darker route or the lighter neutral kind of route. Um, it's a pretty good length. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's not going up, it's not going down. Not unless you unzip this bad boy. Um, and I got it in a size 18 and I think it was like 20 some dollars. It was on the less expensive side, so. Feels like a really good quality and I love the outfit overall. Last but not least, I have these two things. So first, these super cute booties. These I got in a size nine. Very comfortable, nice and stretchy, like the whole sides are elastic here. Again, they did a phenomenal job with their shoes. Like, again, they look very narrow, which I, I like the look of a narrow shoe, but my feet don't always like it. So I got them again in a size nine. Super comfortable, super cute, nice chunky heel, very easy to um, walk in. And I'm gonna try them on with a dress, but I wanna show you the dress. So this is a cute little sweater dress. I got this in a size 2X and it has like the lace up sleeves, which I really like that detail. I love this color. I don't know if it's coming up that well. You know what, it normally does come up well, just not in the little viewfinder, but it's like a really pretty green color and it's um, all ribbed. I don't have any kind of shapewear or anything on right now. I don't even have flattering like panties on right now. So I think it does a good job of kind of disguising you know, whatever you might want disguised. Um, I would probably still wear some kind of light shapewear with it, but I like that it's thick enough that it doesn't expose every little bump, you know, you might have. So I really like it. I think it's cute. Oh, I have some fuzz back there. It's a really good length too. I mean, it's pretty much like mid, pretty true mid thigh and it, it fits beautifully. It's really stretchy and stuff, but again, not so much that it's exposing everything, but this is a really beautiful holiday dress. In fact, <laughs> we were just making um, New Year's plans yesterday, and this would be a perfect dress for that because we're gonna eat, and I need space to release here. Um, this is so nice though. It's also not over the top, but it's really, really, it's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous dress. Like I don't think it's gonna come across on camera, but this is a really gorgeous dress. Wow. Color me surprised. Do it. I'm sure Crayola has a color called surprised. I mean, I wouldn't do the dress with the booties, but it's not a terrible look. So they're cute, they're really comfortable. I mean, I have no complaints. And they slip right on and slip right off. They're really affordable too. They feel really nice. Yeah, just a really nice booty. Shout out Forever 21 for having cute booties. All right guys, so that was actually the end of the video. Can't believe we got through it all. I'm excited. I'll do my best to have everything linked down below for you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, they have a bunch of stuff. Forever 21's plus size section online especially is massive. They have a ton of different stuff, a bunch of different denim as you can see, bunch of different sweatshirts, bunch of different graphic tees, lots of stuff on sale. like. All the freaking time. That's all I got. If you guys stuck around, thanks. Especially if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed. I mean, you made it all the way here. Might as well come back. We're basically best friends now, so thanks. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and I hope you're having a really amazing day. Thank you. Bye, guys.